I watched a lot of your videos. Uh huh. Um, and honestly, I'm not here to attack abortion. I'm just here to just be like a lot of your sayings are kind of like iffy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like at one point, you said that the value of slaves right now, I mean, in the past, is equivalent to the fetus right now. Right. What was that about? Well, it used to be legal in Texas to own black people. And you could kill them, you could rape the women, you could separate the families. Like in Texas, that was totally legal and you could do it, right? Because the court, the Supreme Court said that they're not human. So when a group of white men or any color men say that these people have value, but those people don't, it's wrong. Like everybody has value. So in Texas, it was legal to have slaves and do that. Just like right now, it's legal to kill the babies inside the mother. So like that's a weaker people group that don't have a say. Like they can't even speak up like the slaves did and said, hey, are we not human? Are we not your brothers? So. That, um, don't you think it's kind of odd to compare the plight of the slave to the suffering of the fetus? No, because they were killed and it was legal to kill them. And the, a fetus just means um, offspring. It's a Latin word. It's your offspring or my offspring. So, you know, I, I think it's a really good comparison because it's a stronger people group saying to a weaker people group, we can kill you. And it's what about legal. The Nazis in Germany. Yeah, the Nazis did that to the Jews too. They said uh, Jews aren't human, so we can kill them. So they did. Um, don't you think that the extent of life that they have lived for probably over like maybe 50 years of complete suffering? compared to the fetuses like maybe like a few months well would you rather have 50 years of life like actually like get married have kids even though the life was um you were persecuted wouldn't you rather have that life no joy no love no god wouldn't you rather have that than actually be killed as a baby i mean i don't know like everyone values life differently i'm just asking. right I know you're just asking, uh, and thank you for asking. But the thing is, is like, what makes life valuable? Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Like, if if a mass murderer says life isn't valuable to me, so I'm just going to kill people, does that mean that life doesn't have value? No. So life has value for a reason, and I believe it's because we are created by our Creator in the image of God, and we don't have dominion. We don't have the right to kill people to murder people. We have the right to kill them. So like if someone was gonna come here and shoot you guys, I could shoot them first. That would that would be justifiable um, killing, right? Or if someone was gonna come and start killing everybody at the school, the police could come and kill him and they, get, they wouldn't be charged with murder. So all right. I saw y'all at my church at Gateway. Yes, sir. Uh, why are y'all all at like, the church? Well, we try to go to a good place to recruit other people and to show them to shine the light on it because they think they're pro-life but they don't actually do anything to help end abortion in America they support crisis pregnancy centers and yeah, we shouldn't block that a talk to who the police are past oh well because pastors don't care they've actually lived the last 43 years or so with child sacrifice and they don't do anything to oppose it. Well, you know, let's move down here a little bit so we can't hear him. Um, child sacrifice is when a, a high school girl wants to go to high school and she doesn't want the burden of her child. So she'll sacrifice it so she can have an easier schooling or a girl's in college or a woman has like four kids already and she doesn't want another one so, because you know, it's difficult right raising kids i have nine kids they're they're trouble right so i'll sacrifice one of the kids so i only have nine not ten um in another video you questioned this grandma that had driven her child to get an abortion what's that what? i didn't... had driven a grandma to, i think maybe it wasn't you maybe it was someone else but there was a grandma who had driven her child to get an abortion you know what I mean? and was it you um, I don't know. I've been doing this for a while. Okay, so. but like what happened was she had said people have different points of view and a lot of times you only accept your point of view. What's that about? Right. Like how can we kind of accept other people? 
Well, I accept that they have a point of view, but like I don't accept that a rapist, we should accept his point of view. Like a rapist should be able to rape people or women should be able to kill their babies. So I think that um, people have rights. They have the right to live and nobody should be able to kill them no matter what somebody else's point of view is, right? That, that's why. So, so I accept that other people have other points of view, you know. Morning, ladies. Hi. <laughs> so. Also, like, I'm looking through all of your stuff, and it's, a lot of it is just about, about condemnation. I don't really see anything about forgiveness. Well, read it. Like, spend some time reading it, because there is there. There is forgiveness in Christ, okay? I mean, there isn't, like, like you can't say, like, say you were just going to kill me because you know you could say sorry, and then you wouldn't get in trouble, right? That's not real, all right? Um, you would go to jail, right? You would suffer the consequences of that, probably. I don't know, maybe Texas would go, yeah, that guy sucked anyway, so, you know, good job. <laughs> but most likely you would go to jail, you know? So there are consequences, so we discuss those consequences in there, but we also talk about Christ and um, repentance and forgiveness and healing and restoration. And um, in fact, one of our, uh, one of our uh, posters has, uh, you know, a butterfly on it that shows renewed life. And, yeah. You but know. like, okay, for example, you know how you have this ideal of abolishing this law uh -huh. that's been fought for, but whatever. Right. You just want to get rid of it. And you want to make any abortion totally just... Right. right? No matter what circumstance, right? Correct. How about a danger okay. to the mother's health? Well, C. Everest Coop, who's a Surgeon General and a pedi pediatrician, said that, you know and, and he was the surgeon general for the united states right he said that never in the in all of his work has he ever seen or heard about it just one guy like he has yeah i already of heard of that okay yeah. Yeah. basically for example probably in some other third world country um example the philippines people have like 10 botched abortions doctors are like okay it's a super christian state basically you're like haven um no matter what people will just let their daughters die then like have a baby like you know what I mean like the baby would kill them but they just don't care because it's totally taboo for abortion to occur um, this happens like okay statistic 10 women die daily from botched abortions right um, so what happens is is a woman will die murdering her child like let's say you were gonna murder me but you shot him instead he died trying to be a murderer that's what happens to the woman. The woman is a murderer. She's actually murdering an innocent life within her belly. She's still a mother. She's just the mother of a child she murdered. So if a woman wants to have an illegal abortion, all right, and murder her own child and she dies in the process, that's bad. But still, she's guilty and she's a murderer. People should not be able to rape safely. Like, like if some guy wanted to rape women, we shouldn't make laws and say, okay, look, if you're gonna rape women, all right, they have to be the eight, between the ages of like 24 and 35. Well, don't the rapists get condemned and totally shut down in prison? You know. Yeah, and so should yeah. the woman who has an abortion. She should go to prison because she's guilty of murdering somebody. Yeah. After, she, getting, like, after getting an abortion, you're saying that they should just go to prison. Yeah, they're, they're, they should be tried in a court of law for murder, and if they're found guilty, they should be they should be put in prison because they mur it's there's no difference between murdering that child right there or a. A one-year-old baby. There's no difference. It's still a human that has its own DNA, its own separate DNA. I mean, you had a foot just like that one, or you look just like that. There's no reason okay, the mom um, should be able to murder that. Don't you believe that putting up inflammatory signs would actually hurt your cause rather than enforce it? Because it really does sway people away from the cause. Yeah, like a lot of people, like if you come up there with a sign yelling, people aren't like... Well, we're not yelling. I mean, well, at Gateway Church, y'all were yelling, like, well, really loud. And yelling, shouting. I was the guy yelling because the guy that came up to me came up in my face and, and he was yelling at me. Okay. But I heard y'all yelling just ran, like when I was coming up, up to the church and when I was getting out of the church, y'all were yelling. Oh, he was probably times. preaching. Very nice, man. What an example you're setting. He, he was probably preaching, so he wasn't yelling at people. He was just preaching so people could hear him because they were kind of far away. So. Don't you think something like that? Because normally people's response to whenever they hear like a loud preacher or something like that that sways them away and gives them like a little bit of dislike towards Christianity do you think that's actually gonna help people go to the cause because really no one wants to go to a person who's shouting like that. right yeah, yeah you say you don't yell but like in one of your videos released on May 26 
um, for 11 minutes straight, a girl was just standing there with a sign and you just kept berating her 11 minutes straight. She didn't say a lot. Maybe she said a few sentences, but you just We weren't yelling at her. We were yes, talking to her. We were telling her what was going on, what was happening. It wasn't yelling. Okay, you actually told her, quote unquote, lots of abortions are female babies, so you're a female hater, which is an example of a straw man. And another uh, quote says, More women are aborted than men. Because what happens is... That's a cultural problem. Right, and that's sad. And women that women apply. shouldn't be murdered more than men. You know, because what happens is, even in Texas, people want more males than they want females. So if they already have two girls, they'll they'll abort their next female baby because they want a man. Back up that quote because I've never heard that. Well, yeah, in America, yeah. it's yeah. different. Like when you're talking about China, that's totally yeah. different. A no, no, no. Of that's that's in America too. There's more. It's statistically proven that there's actually more from Planned Parenthood's own statistics. And you know what? It's totally legal. Like you can go into an abortion clinic and go, yeah, it's a girl. I want to avoid it. Abort it because I want to have a boy. You know what? Girls are extremely valuable. Nobody should ever use an excuse because she's a girl. All we're trying to do is expose how evil and wicked is. The wicked this is. Seventy thousand babies every year in Texas are aborted. And you know, half the black women that are um, pregnant okay, in yeah, America are also, aborted in America. You say that a lot. Yeah. Literally, that is kind of wrong. How's that kind of wrong? Here, thirty percent are black. You can't just alienate an yeah, entire. Yeah, thirty percent are black, but. If you look at the black women, all right, over half of them have abortions, which is sad. The black men need to stand up and treat women rightly and godly and stand up. They are not, they are not either emotionally, physically, or financially capable to take care of the child. And the child will have a very poor quality of life. They will have a very poor quality Look, I had a poor quality of life growing up. My dad committed suicide. My mom was 16 when she had me, you know? And you know what? Even though I had a very poor quality of life and slept in my car, I love my life. Do you know my wife loves me very much? I have nine kids. Nine kids, all right? Three of them we had. The other six were foster kids that we adopted that other women couldn't, hand, couldn't handle and couldn't keep. You know, so we, so life is precious, man. Even if you're poor, even if you can't afford them, like life is good, man. You know, and not only that, but there's 30,000 churches here in Texas. We should be helping these people, right? Some people, they don't, they're either going to put their, they're going to put their child into the system. I'm sorry, I can't hear you, man. They're going to put their child into the system, and the right. system is very poorly funded, and the child could end up, like, dying at 21, homeless. No, the kids. system, you know in Texas, they pay you $700 a month to be a foster parent per kid? But do you understand how many people can't afford to be foster parents and take care of children? No, no, no. Foster own? parents are paid to be foster parents. They get $700. Yeah, you, you know the kid no, gets no. free college? My uncle is a foster parent. I understand how it is. He takes care of uh, children with disabilities. Uh huh. But so they make like a thousand dollars. He's a lot of financial debt. That's okay. the only reason that he's doing it. And it's still Well, that's wrong. If that's the only reason he's doing it, that's really is because of the money, is wrong. But, you know, you get over seven for. For every kid, you get 700 bucks a month, okay, until you adopt them. The kid gets free college. He gets free lunch and breakfast at schools. He gets all free medical and dental and, and eye. The state pays for everything. There's no reason why Christians aren't adopting these kids, aren't fostering these kids and taking why care of these kids. Why is it just a Christian thing? Yeah, and in well, because video, at least Christians said... should be doing it because the Bible teaches Christians that true religion is taking care of widows and orphans. That the we... Bible also says that you shouldn't eat shellfish or that's wear not, clothes that's made not of fair. That's that's not, that's okay. Yeah, that's Old Testament and that's for the Levites only. That's Levitical law. Oh